Now, we haven't done any code, we haven't styled anything. All we have right now is a way that you can click a button or two and then it'll take you here, but nothing will happen. And if you click the logout button, nothing else will happen. We'll be creating the logout screen or the home view later. Right now, what we need to do is we need to connect this to Firebase. So if we close out this view, we got this. Now let's connect this to Firebase. If we pull up our uh, web browser, or whatever you're using, uh, follow the link in the uh, description below and we'll bring you here. Click add a new project and we'll just call this something. Uh, we'll just call this our social network. So this is just our social network. You can call it whatever you want. Of course, if you're building your own personal application, you use your name. Uh, do we need to enable? We will keep our analytics enabled for now. And then make sure you, after that, you click on your the certain account that you want to use. We'll be using a free plan for this. Uh, there's there's really free plan. You can do so much with it. Um, it can take you a long way. Once you start hitting that 100,000 user or a little bit under that, once you start reaching that, that's when you might want to start upgrading. But boom, we have our project. It is ready. Now what are we going to do? Well, we're going to connect this project to our actual app. Now you may be wondering how do we do that? Let's start us off right here. You have your dashboard. This is where once your app gets running and everything, this is where you will be able to see your daily users, your, uh, if you have uh, subscriptions or you have a payment, you'll be able to see how much money you make per day, or you can also see retention, analytics, and all that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna click that iOS button. Now, you might be wondering, what are, we, what are we doing now? Well, right now, what we're going to do is we're going to set up and register the app to allow it to run together. So what we'll do, so remember earlier when we created the application, we had that bundle identifier. You probably didn't notice because I didn't bring it up. But what we'll do, we'll go here back into the project. We'll click that social network with the app store icon. We'll go over here in the middle under general, and you see bundle identifier. Just copy that. Go back into... Firebase and just paste that in. Perfect. Now you can do an app nickname if you want. Uh, it's all the way, it's just up to you. I'll just call this social network app. You don't need to add app or you don't, you can just do call whatever, but let's register it. And it's going to take a little bit and boom. Now what we need to do is we need to download this Google service info .p list and place it into our little application. So make sure you download that. So once it's downloaded, what you'll do, you'll just simply drag it in. All right, you drag it in, copy items if needed, check that, create folder references, all that, and just finish. All right, so now you see our Google service plist is in, and we can click next, perfect. Now what we'll do is we're actually going to be setting up a, a pod or Cocoa Pods. This allows us to have to use different libraries throughout the application, along with actually using Firebase and running this server side. So what we'll do, you can open up terminal. So if you want, just command spacebar, command plus spacebar. So what we'll do is we will find the directory that our application is in. Mine is in desktop. And then we need to find the actual app. So we'll just open it up. So what you can do is type in CD space, the location or wherever it is. And then we need to actually open up the app. Boom. Now we have our app opened up and ready to go. Uh, what I did here, I simply started typing desk and then I just click tab. And then I typed in my app name and I clicked tab and it uh, auto filled for me. Then we'll just click enter. And now we are inside our app directory. If you type in LS, that lets you know that we are inside the project and there's anything we can do. So now what we'll do is we'll type in the command right here to create our pod file for CocoaPods. So we'll type in pod init and let it build, start setting up CocoaPods and then boom. Okay, so now one of the more important crucial parts of this is we are just gonna be done using this. We're just gonna close out of it and done. Make sure you saved it, but we're not gonna be using that specific one anymore. So make sure you go into 
the folder where your app is, and now you'll see a new file called pod file. This is where we'll be able to add in our own, our, our pods, our, uh, well, libraries, if you may. And so just make sure you double click that file. And now we just have a, we have some targets here. This is for our tests. Just ignore that. Right under here where it says pods for social network, we're going to add in a couple. And then what we'll do, we'll go right into here. And as you see, it says add the Firebase pod for Google Analytics. And what we'll do is just copy this and paste. Perfect. Now, what we want to do next before saving anything else, we want to do the Firebase auth. auth. We want to do the database and we will do storage later on the tutorials, but not right now. So what we can do to check which pod we need since we need auth and Firebase. So here's authentication. We just we can just copy. I will add these into the description below back into here, enter, boom. And then we need just that database. So let's find pod database. Perfect, here it is, our real time database. And that is it. Con Command S to save. You can close out of this, you can take a browse. I will have all the links to this in the description below so you can get started and build. All right, now we're gonna go back into that terminal. Hopefully you didn't close it. I did not perfect and we're gonna we're gonna just go back into our file make sure we're inside the actual directory we're not in our desktop or in our documents we're inside the directory of the app and we're gonna type in pod install this allows us to install those libraries that we have just added in to our pod file perfect our file has been created and everything is good to go now we can click next here and now we have to add in some items into our actual project. Now remember how I told you to close out our app where our project was, which was this file right here, our Xcode proj. Well, now that we've created a pod file and we've actually initiated, we've installed a couple libraries or pods as you may, uh, we've actually created a new file that allows us to run all of these items as our app runs as well. And that is this white uh, workspace. Well, not we will not be using that actual Xcode project anymore. So you can just dismiss, don't delete it, but just forget about it. We're going to be working in the actual workspace now, allowing us to build, run, work with libraries, and so on. So you can open it up, get out the device, and then what we will be doing, um, we need to continue the initialization, and we need to go into our app delegate. So if you click here, here, and then app delegates, we need to actually import our Firebase. So make sure you hit import, Firebase. It may not pop up because it hasn't actually built yet. And then from there, we can just copy this line, copied, and then find our uh, application did finish launching. And right above the return true, we just want to do Firebase app dot configure. Perfect. Now we have everything set up, ready to run. You might get an error, doesn't know what the heck Firebase is. That's all right. Next, now we need to actually build and run our app. So if you just click Command R, we can get started and run. Uh, you might you might have your Firebase error still, and just wait a second. Unless you haven't initiated and installed Firebase, you will have that error. If you did everything else that I've done, you should be good to go. Now let it build and run, start setting up, and then it'll configure. And if we continue watching this, it should say it's communicating with our servers after the app is built and run, of course. Uh, mine is still taking forever to build. And perfect build has succeeded, and we are running the app now. If we open up Firebase app again on Safari or whatever web browser you're using, it should still be checking to make sure it runs and everything. My iPhone 11 is taking forever to open. All right, so our app has built, run. All right, so I actually ended up having to click skip this step. Then I went right back into the little project and I click continue SDK setup. And now we're all good to go. I guess it was a little error on Firebase, but we are all set to go. You might have a little continue SDK setup here, but we have actually now connected our application with Firebase and we are ready to go to set up user authentication, set up users with Firebase, with data, with their database. It's, it's, it's looking good now. 
uh, we're going to be able to do a lot here in the coming uh, videos we're actually going to set up our sign in our sign up it, it's, it's going to look good and we'll be able to do a whole bunch of different stuff uh, we'll be we'll work with the users we'll work with storing data getting data grabbing users we might even throw in a couple different items into there but i'm really looking forward to this uh, make sure you check out the next videos we'll be setting up the actual code for designing some of the view along with actually starting the sign up and sign in process that might be one to two videos don't know how long yet but thanks for watching Make sure you smash that like button and you keep on uh, just and make sure to watch the next video where we get into the actual sign up and signing in. Uh, we'll be working with different users here in the first few videos, uh, just authentication. And then from there, um, I'll be getting requests from you guys on what we should do with this application. Of course, it's a social network, so why don't we do something with posting or something with sharing? And that'll be decided by you guys. And I'm super excited to get into that. Make sure you check out all the links in the description. I have everything there for you guys. If you need any help, contact, contact me through my socials or in the comments. I'll be glad to help out. Thanks for watching.